Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, the RX 6800 XT goes liquid nitrogen, there's an RX 6900 and it's coming to AIB partners, AMD working to bring SAM to other companies, the 3060 Ti release date specs and pricing, and the RX 6700 and 6700 XT specs get leaked. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Okay, it's news time and first up for today we recently saw the RX 6800 XT break the 3D Mark Firestrike record while using its reference cooler. Well, that record has now been broken thanks to liquid nitrogen. The overclock was done by the Chinese overclocker Tekakao from TechLab. He was actually able to get it up to 2.8 GHz, which I will say seems pretty low to me given air cooling gets it to 2.65 GHz, but that's still 2.8 GHz. I mean, we're actually getting close to 3 GHz. That's huge. Either way, he got a very impressive overall score of 48,890 and a graphic score of 61,831. Of course, don't forget that this is still just the RX 6800 XT. AMD hasn't even released their 6900 XT yet, or potentially 6900 non-XT model. But first, it's never been easier to build a website with today's sponsor, Squarespace. The tool that makes it possible to create beautiful websites without a single line of code. From email campaigns to appointment scheduling, search engine optimization, and even e-commerce tools for an online store, Squarespace has everything you need. Plus, changing just about anything is as easy as just a few clicks. Even helping you pick the right color palette to match your logo or pointing a domain over to your new site. There isn't a better place to build your website, so don't wait. Head to Squarespace for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, use squarespace.com slash gamermeld to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, while talking about the 6900 XT, if you remember all the way back before AMD announced the new GPU, it was leaked to be an AMD exclusive card. Then when AMD announced it, we found out this was true. But pretty quickly after, we heard stories that AIB partners were very interested in making their own variants. Well, today it looks like that really is happening. In a new EEC filing by Zeus that was found and shared by Komachi, you can see that it mentions a 6900 non-XC variant. And whether that's simply a mistake or there's a new SKU for AIB partners, it does look like a GPU more powerful than the 6800 XT is coming in the form of board partner cards. Let's just hope the stock is semi-decent by then. Fingers crossed. Next up for today, it looks like AMD is working to bring smart access memory to Intel and NVIDIA. For those who didn't see my video on it, shortly after AMD announced the feature, NVIDIA came out and said that it's not an AMD thing, that it can be done with NVIDIA cards and even Intel CPUs. Well, AMD's Scott Herkelman was asked about this, and here's what he said. I think you'll have to ask them, uh, <laughs> but I do believe it's a, a, you know, they'll have to work on their own driver. Um, you know, Intel will have to work with their own motherboard manufacturers and uh, their own chipsets, and I, I think... Um, I think there's some work to do for our competitors and they'll have to do that. And, and just to be clear, you know, Radeon Group will work with Intel to get them ready. And I know our Ryzen Group will work with NVIDIA to get them ready. So there you have it. Intel and NVIDIA would need to do some work, but apparently AMD is willing to work with both companies to make it happen for other ecosystems. Next up for today, we've got a ton more information on NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 3060 Ti, starting with pictures of the Founders Edition cards getting leaked by video cards. As you can see, it's nearly identical to the RTX 3070. It even features the same 12-pin power connector, and it comes with the same memory configuration. And speaking of specs, a new spec sheet from the AIB partner Manly was just leaked. And as you can see, it comes with 4,864 CUDA cores, a base clock of 1,410 MHz, and a boost of 1,665. Not only that, but we do have pricing and a release date. According to Video Cards, the 3060 Ti is set for release on December 2nd, and here he definitely seems confident in that. When it comes to price, Video Card states that the card is expected to come in at $399. And of course, if that's the case, the 3060 Ti could end up being a great price to performance contender. That price also makes me think the 3060 will remain the same price as the 2060. Time, as always, will tell. And lastly for today, while unfortunately a lot of users weren't able to get an RX 6800 or 6800 XT, we already have information on a couple new RX 6000 GPUs. The first bit of information was originally shared by Patrick Schur on Twitter, who's certainly gotten quite a bit right in the past. 
in this tweet, he goes over the upcoming Navi22 XT and XTL variants. The XT model is expected to make up the RX 5700 XT and comes with a TGP of 186 to 211 watts. The XTL model is set to be used in the RX 5700 non-XT model and comes with a TGP of 146 to 156 watts and comes with a whopping 12 gigabytes of GDDR6. Of course, don't forget that TGP for AMD cards does not represent the full power draw, so expect that number to be a bit more. Not only that, but video cards found that the cards were leaked by a macOS firmware update that confirmed previous rumors of the cards coming with 40 compute units. Remember, that's the same number of cores in their last gen RX 5700 XT. Of course, that's not bad considering the 6000 variant will get ray tracing hardware as well as the huge uplift in performance per watt out of their RDNA 2 architecture. All in all, these are likely set to be a big performance jump over last gen. So while that does it for today, which card are you most excited about? AMD's upcoming RX 6700 and 6700 XT, or what about Nvidia's upcoming RTX 3060 Ti? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!